Magic or magic, what's in a name? Many have searched fruitlessly for the ultimate question, does magic exist? Does it work? Magic can be defined as the science and art of causing change in conformity with the magician's will. As an initiate of the Western mystery tradition, I have followed many paths in my earth life. It started many moons ago with my initiation into a white wicker earth coven called the White Grove, where I remained for seven years before it reached its purpose and naturally dissolved. My interest in my early school days was always ritual magic. One of the first books I purchased at the age of 16 was Techniques of High Magic by Francis King and Stephen Skinner. I read its contents on magical invocation, evocation, astral travel, geomancy, talismans, divination eagerly, putting many of the techniques I had just discovered into daily practice. I then joined the Rosicrucian Order, which taught Egyptian-based mysticism, and stayed there for a number of years while I continued my other magical studies and interests alongside it. All seekers of light go to, and truth go down many pathways as represented by the ancient labyrinths we see so often in Gothic and medieval architecture. The journey of the fool is one of the most ancient archetypal journeys portrayed in the 22 cards of the Terra Major Arcana. The fool begins his journey with all his worldly knowledge carried over his shoulder in a bag on a stick as portrayed in the most famous tarot deck, the Rider the Wake Tarot. The 22 cards represent archetypes, birth, death, mother, father, etc. The mystic and psychoanalyst Carl Jung wrote about it extensively. I will just add that we start our mystical journey as the fool and go full circle and there is wisdom here for those that understand. My own fool's journey led me to the Holy Kabbalah through a chance meeting in an esoteric bookshop in Hastings. This outward meeting preceded the inner meeting with my spiritual Megiddon teacher and the journey into the deeper mysteries began in earnest. I was invited to join the Martinist order, named after the mystic Louis-Claude Saint Martin, and in due course the inner order of Elu Cohen, or elect priests of Martinist Pasquale, which was purely magical theurgy, divine magic. I set up a Kabbalah school to teach Western students the mystical Kabbalah as a means of unity with the divine, utilising the sacred knowledge that had been entrusted to me by my physical and spiritual teachers in the Academy of the Holy Spirit on High. The Great Spirit connected me to the Knights of Christ in Chartres, France, commonly known as the Knights Templar. Their commander, Brother Henry, was a high-ranking French diplomat, and we remained in contact by a letter as I was slowly initiated into all of the renewed to temple by Brother Henry, who travelled to the UK and met me. The Rutu Temple is most commonly known as the Knights Templar.